Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today is day three of the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle Week, and we are doing anywhere from four to five shows a day featuring contributors to the bundle. What is the bundle, you may ask? It's a bunch of things that are bundled together. And by things, I mean specifically 111 products ebooks, courses, videos, program, much of it exclusive content that was created just for the bundle by some of your favorite influencers, plant-based doctors, plant-based chefs, plant-based athletes, and more. And it's selling for the ridiculously low price of $49 just for the 10 days of the bundle. It is worth over $4,700 if you were to buy these individually. And many of these products you can see on the websites of the contributors that you can see they actually sell for more than $49, anywhere up to $300 for some of these programs. But when it's gone, it's gone and it's gone at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time on March 2nd. So today for the first show of the day, we have Dr. Gustavo Tolosa, and he is going to be showing you a very fun recipe. It's a potato party roll. Anything with a potato and party in the title is going to be great. He's broadcasting all the way from Argentina. Please welcome Gustavo. How are you Hello. doing? I'm doing great. It's always doing something with you. It's fun. So thank you for having me. Thank of you for course. Well, I, so how's life in Argentina? It's, uh, it's peaceful because I live in a little mountain town in Cordoba um, state, and uh, I'm surrounded by mountains and lakes, which is one of the things I love most. I, so I'm, Do I don't go to the city. I don't go to big cities. <laughs> Do you ever miss the hustle and bustle of Dallas? Well, I do. And when I do, I go to Buenos Aires, which is 12 or 14 million people. And then I went to run away in like half an hour. Wow. So, yeah. I, bet it's, I yeah. bet it's beautiful there. It is. It is. So it's fun. And uh, AJ, I just want to say what an incredible job you did and your team to put this bundle together. Um, I thank you for saying that because I would buy this bundle. I would pay triple what we're selling it for to, to get these courses. And that's why I wish people before they judge it would just like click the link and look at the website and see, I mean, get Dr. Yeah. Google's maximum weight loss course. You get Dr. Furman's intermittent fasting course. You get a $300 cooking course from Chef Kelly Williamson. I mean, even if you only like three things out of the 111, I think it's still worth it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, when I went to look at it, I was like, okay, I, I, I want to buy it right now. And um, so thank you for, for putting it together. And I, I tell people that I invite, I say, just, just go look at it. You know, you know if you don't want to get it, it's fine. But look at it because it, it's amazing all that's there. If I had known or if I had had this nine years ago when I started my, my plant-based uh, journey, Gosh, I would have been so happy because I didn't have to look somewhere else. I had all in there, you know, 111 programs. That's, um, that's we had no idea so many people. When, when I had this idea, I, you know, I just asked a few of my friends. I thought maybe we'd get, you know, maybe 50 if we were lucky. But then people heard about it and they told their friends. And I mean, we're still getting people. Can I join the bundle as a contributor? I go, well, not this year, but we'll do it again next year because it's going to take a year for everybody to go through the 111 courses. Are there any things in there that you're particularly interested in looking at? Well, I mean, one thing I want to say is because when I saw the title, of course, it interests me because anything that is, you know, weight loss and keeping your, your weight loss. But I saw so many other things. I want people to know that even if they don't lose, need to lose weight, they can learn about dressing uh, for success and inflammation and fitness and fasting and overcoming cravings and binging. And I have people always asking me about salad dressings because they have a hard time eating salad without dressing. And I mean, all of that is there. So um, yeah, I'm interested in, in a lot of these things like uh, salads and salad dressings and uh, fitness because even though I walk, um, I like to expand a little more uh, in my exercise. So there's a lot, truly a lot of things. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You're going to put a link, right? For people I did. I've been, I put it in the show okay. notes so that they can buy exclusively 
to for you from you so you get the credit and i also time to time keep putting it in the chat but it's there that's why yeah because what people have to understand is every contributor has their own link so we don't care who you buy from buy from your favorite and if gustavo is your favorite Right. Or if you just need it right now, click his link. It's the same bundle no matter what. And guys, you know, you have a year to download it, but then you own it forever. But we do recommend everyone just get one of these cheap little flash yeah. drives as a backup because, you know, computers, sometimes things go wrong. But even if you have an iPhone or an iPad and don't have a computer, you still can download all the wonderful content. And people right. said, well, can't we get it um, hard copies? Could you imagine how much it would cost to ship 111 books to people? And we sure couldn't do it for $49. No. No, no, no. Well, great. Well, I want to get into the recipe because this is one of the, my favorite because it is a recipe that not only tastes good, but it's one of those things that, that look good like, um, and that you can take to a party or you can have a party at home and you can impress friends and family. And it really is not that complicated. And I, I love things. I don't know why, but I love things that roll, like you know, a, a burrito or a wrap, things like that. So um, I'm sure someone else has done this before. Uh, so I'm not going to claim that I invented this recipe, but I, I, I did it. I thought, what can I do with potatoes that is different? And so I thought about this. So um, what I'm going to do is because the recipe really it doesn't take that long, but I didn't want to spend time sauteing the onion and all that. So I'm going to tell people it's very simple. So I'm going to tell you what I did and then I'm going to walk to my kitchen and show you how to spread the potatoes and the greens and roll it. And then I'll show you the finished product. Actually, let's see, I think I have the finished product over there. I'm going to ask my assistant over there, would you bring me from the refrigerator? The, um, that way I can show people what it looks like. But this is how uh, this is how I start. I start with one pound of steamed spinach. I use spinach because, um, well, I like spinach. And, um, and then uh, it could be kale, it could be any other green. And then there's a plate also. Um, and um, okay, so one pound of steamed spinach that I get all the, as much of the, the liquid out and I chop it very finely. Then I get two medium onions, and I also chop them finely. Uh, four to six garlic cloves. It depends how much garlic you like, and then you also chop that finely. Um, here, this is optional. I love mushrooms. I know not, not everybody loves mushrooms. So maybe eight to 10 mushrooms chopped, if you like them. I put them all the time. And then one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper chopped finely also. So if you leave out the mushrooms, it's still going to taste great. Um, if you don't need to lose weight and you don't have any problems eating olives, you can put five or six olives chopped as well. So how, how is this? Um, and then of course you'll need the potatoes. I use about four pounds, three and a half pounds, four and a half, four pounds of russet potatoes peeled. Um, but I'll tell you about that later. So what I do is most of the people watching this show know about sauteing uh, with water or uh, vegetable broth and or dry sauteing if you have a really good uh, nonstick pan. So first I put the chopped onions on the pan uh, with the peppers because they're hard. So they need more time to cook the red and the green peppers. And so it, that, that takes, and you know, you stir it, you add a little bit of water every now and then if you see that it's sticking a little bit. And in about 10, 15 minutes, uh, when the onions and the peppers are soft, it is, um, I add the garlic. And if I'm using, if you're using the um, mushrooms, you add the mushrooms for another five minutes. Everything is finely chopped. And if, you, if you're going to use olives, you use olives. Then I put some of the... Um, uh, I don't put a lot of spices, but I put one of my favorite, which is smoked paprika, and I put oregano. And I'm not allergic to pepper, like you are. Oh, are black, today. only black pepper, but yeah. Hey, Gustavo, okay. do you have in Argentina any of the balsamic vinegars that we love so much? We have, but not the, not the, the variety. 
uh, uh, not as many, but we, I, I found a, a lot. And last week when I actually went to Buenos Aires, I found just about everything. I don't, I don't need to, I used to bring things in my suitcase, like a suitcase full of food when I was coming from Dallas. Now I don't need to bring any, almost anything. Um, but yes, the balsamic vinegars uh, might be some, one of those things that I bring. So um, you will be cooking, um, stirring the, uh, this mixture and with the, the, um, the onions, the garlic, the mushrooms and the red peppers and the green pepper. Um, and when that is soft, you will add the spinach because it's already cooked and you will add the spices. Now, this is where you can be creative. You can make it more um, like a Mexican flavor if you add uh, chipotle or you can uh, other spices or you can make it more like a Chinese tasting or Indian, depending on the spices. I just paprika and the oregano and pepper. Sometimes I add one tablespoon of nutritional yeast as well. So. That is going to, uh, everything is cooked by now. So I just make sure that everything is really well mixed. And while that was cooking, I put in my instant pot or actually more like an hour earlier because I wouldn't need the potatoes to cool down. So um, I make mashed potatoes. So um, basically I get my four pounds of potatoes that I, I peel for this recipe. I cut them small. I put them in the instant pot with one cup of water and I cook that for 10 minutes. I put it on 10 minutes, then I release the pressure. I add garlic powder and onion powder and um, I think that's and pepper. And what I do after the 10 minutes, I drain the liquid, whatever is left there, I totally drain it because I rather add it then have too much. I don't want the potatoes for this recipe, the mashed potatoes to be too um, soft. So now you're going to see the consistency because we're about to go there. I mash the potatoes, it needs to be creamy and you've saved the juice, you know, the liquid. So if you, you can add a little bit if you see that they're too dry. So this is what, let's see. This is what it looks like. Oh my God, <laughs> that looks amazing. And I put on top as a decoration, the everything bagel um, mixture and here's cut. And um, so these, these are, you can make it smaller or you can cut them in half and you, it's like finger food uh, appetizer. And, and uh, so what is fun about this is you can eat it cold like you can put it in the refrigerator, you can eat it room temperature, or you could stick, you know, this whole thing in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes or so, and let it get um, crisp uh, on the outside. So that's enough. So you have three ways of eating that. So um, I'm going to now walk to the kitchen and I'm going to show you how I spread the potatoes on top of saran wrap and kind of like making sushi, but in a, but bigger. And I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I hope that you all will try it because it's, it's a fun recipe to do. So in order to not make people sick here <laughs> movement, I'm just gonna cover the camera and I'll be right back. Yeah, no um, worries. That, I mean, guys, didn't that look like a restaurant meal? I mean, it, I don't think it's going to be that hard to make, but it looks like it's something you could really impress your guests with, and it looks delicious. Do you ever put a sauce over it, Gustavo? No, but I'm thinking of doing that. I'm going to move my, there you go. Okay, so let me see here. I'm going to show you the consistency of the potatoes. Let's see if you if you can come here and have that. Um, I say some of the liquid, so I'm gonna put a little more because I need it just a little more creamy. There you go. Mm. Now, since you have to touch this with your hands, um, that's why I let it cool. It's not cold, but it's, it's um, 
it's just kind of just right to, so that you don't get burned. So this is the consistency, it's very creamy. All right, so let's have fun now with this. And um, here I have a cutting board and I have put some round of wrap paper and I've covered it. So I'm going to wash my hands. And here we go. Let's start doing this. I'm going to leave a section there without any potatoes. So you want to, uh, basically the thickness of this is about half inch, maybe a little more. And, um, and we're going to start now shaping it in a rectangle, making sure that there are no holes anywhere. It looks, it may look a little messy while you're making it, but then I'll just show you some tricks here and it'll, it's gonna look very good. And the good thing about this is that you can make more mashed potatoes. Instead of making four pounds, you can make five pounds because you're going to have mashed potatoes left over. And, um, and of course, I always like to make extra because I like to have food available, good, healthy food available at all times. And so don't worry if you have any mashed potatoes left over. And um, I in a way, you're kind of making sushi. I mean, you know what I mean? Like you're rolling. I it know. Up. I know. It is. It is. A, it is a lot of making a giant. Yeah, it's, it's a sushi. Um, it's a Carol's potato. Saying, sushi. Do you cook your potatoes in the instant pot? And if so, do you put them on a, on the rack or directly in the water? No, I put them directly in the water. And sometimes, like today, is water, but sometimes it's in. It's vegetable broth, salt free, but today it's just water. And um, I don't put them in the rack, although I, you know, I could. Okay, so um, I've got it as, um, there you go. Okay, that's neatly as possible. And now I'm going to show you here the mixture. The mixture is also a very versatile mixture, and I know that you will have leftover, but um, you want leftovers because this mixture, let's see if you can lift a little more. This is the spinach with the onions and garlic and red peppers and green peppers uh, and uh, the spices. and. Um, you can eat this with mashed potatoes. You can eat it on top of a sweet potato. You can eat it on top of rice. So you're gonna have some leftover and you want to have some leftover. So what I'm going to do is, and I wanna show you guys, I have my Mickey Mouse <laughs> kitchen towel. <laughs> okay, so let's spread it here. And, um, I like to just do it like that, and then uh, then I go ahead and I spread it. You want to leave some room there and at the bottom. And uh, the other day I made it, and I made it too thick. So make sure that the mixture and you know it's um, it's not too thick here. But what a great way to eat your starch, your potatoes, and your greens, because we all know how important it is to eat our greens daily. I haven't tried to make this with sweet potatoes, but this I'm going to, because that might be another variation that I could be delicious to mix kind of the, the sweet, sweet and savory. And- You know what I was thinking, Gustavo, for like, Thanksgiving, you could do sweet potato and you could put like some kind of cranberry relish as the filling and roll it up. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So I just want people to uh, be creative and uh, find ways to do it. And then if you if you make it in a different ways, let me know. Send me an email. My email is info at plantemus.com. No planters. <laughs> the other day. No, but I you you got it. You wrote that, hon, not me. 
No, I know. I, I mean, I know that my website is not planters, but um, who knows what happened? I don't know what happened, but yes, I sent AJ an email and it says planters. And so now I'm supposed to be- um, You're gonna sell you know, peanuts. Selling peanuts. At least, at least it's not pigs or cows or something. Yeah. At least. Well, it really only went out to my list. Anything else going forward has this. <laughs> now, so where do you get the roll up, Matt? No, this is just a round wrap. This is just paper. Oh, so the blue thing is just your cutting board. Yeah, that's that's the cutting board I decided to put it there because the other day I put it on my kitchen counter and it got kind of sticky. So I'm just trying something new today. Which So here we go. I'm going to start rolling it and pressing. This is the part where we cannot be shy. You guys, you've got to press it quite hard and then you take the paper back and uh, and then you put your fingers in. Let me see if you can show the thing underneath like that. And you do another roll and you uh, press it all the time. You're pressing it and doing this, just like doing sushi. Even though I've ma never made sushi and I want to, but um, I've, but I've seen people making it. So I'm pressing it and now I'm rolling it again and pressing it. And this one actually, you see I'm doing this on the sides as well. This one is coming out even better than the one that I showed you. I'm so glad because I was always afraid that I, the one that I do live is gonna be worse. But okay, it's coming so far so good. And uh, there you go. But like you said, AJ, if you can then drizzle some uh, sauce or some other like uh, vinegar, uh, one of those delicious mm, vinegars that, that we love. Okay, and um, here we go. This is the last part here. Okay, so now we could put sauce, you could put, you could sprinkle some nutritional yeast, but I am sort of addicted to this. This is salt free, free. And I love to put it on my steamed broccoli. It's incredible that you can, you can get that in Argentina. That's the exact no, thing. Actually this, <laughs> no, this one I brought with me. <laughs> I, I, this one I brought from, from the US. Because I get that at Sprouts and I, it's already salt free. Melanie, who's watching live, wants to know, hi, Gustavo, what's the favorite vegetable and fruit in Argentina? Well, let me tell you, in Argentina, we, there are fresh vegetable and fruit stores in every block, sometimes two or three, two in, a, in the same block. So even though people eat a lot of meat and dairy here, they eat a lot of vegetables. And um, I don't know if there is a favorite, but potatoes is definitely a favorite. And um, zucchini is also a favorite. This type of zucchini, I don't know if you've seen. Have you? I've seen it once or twice in the US in uh, Mexican um, kind of Latin uh, supermarket. This is a rounded zucchini and this comes from my yard. So um, people eat a lot of this, although the other type of zucchini is available. But um, yeah, potatoes is, is a, definitely a favorite here. And uh, zucchini, also any kind of pumpkin is very popular. Fruit, um, well, it depends on the time of year, but um, I guess peaches and uh, grapes, uh, apples, bananas, it's, it's a lot like the US. It's, there's not a lot of difference. So, well, guys, that's it. Now, I could put it in a nice tray and sprinkle some of the balsamic vinegar and the the seeds that would be on the tray and it would look nicer, but I'm gonna leave it here. This one though, I'm going to uh, put it in the oven because I want to see how it comes out uh, when it is all nice and golden. 
Um, and the other one just takes. Gosh, Gustavo, maybe you could just go into business, make these, freeze these, and sell these. Uh, Oki says you're crushing it with the potato roll. And uh, Diana Oopsie. said, Oh, thank you, Diana, for ordering the bundle. I appreciate that. But somebody, oh, yeah, here it is. Somebody had a great idea. Monica, have you ever thought about cutting it in tranches and air frying it? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. I have. And so I'm, I might do that, actually. Well, you, there you go. Let's see. And um, that's it. So that's the recipe. I um, don't know if people have any other questions I'm going to change here. You know what? You could literally fill that with anything that a person wanted. You can see the roof of my house. <laughs> it's all wooden. <laughs> wooden. Um, well, yeah, I think so. And like I said, it really doesn't take a lot of time. It took me half an hour to make the mixture and I had and the potatoes cooked, you know, alone in the, in the instant pot. And then you roll it and it only took me, what, five minutes. So it's a, like I said, it's a fun recipe to make and uh, you can make variations of it. Any questions? Yeah, Susanna wants to know if obesity rates in Argentina are lower than the United States. Well, um, they're getting higher. They, they were lower, but um, now you drive around, not here because here, um, uh, any kind of chain restaurants are not allowed in the city. Um, but in the big cities, now you see Burger King and McDonald's and KFC and all, all the wonderful, um, you know, American uh, the, the, the ultra processed food. So people, you can see now 20 years ago, you never saw um, you pretty much 98% of people were slim. Now you see quite a lot of people that are overweight or obese, which is very sad. And I don't have the rates, but it's definitely, definitely changed. So do you, have you met any vegans? Oh yeah, yeah. V vegan, veganism is very popular here, but uh, the plant, the whole food plant-based, uh, low-fat vegan hasn't quite arrived yet. You know, everything takes a, few, a couple of years to, to, to get here. So um, you have vegans that use oil, that use a lot of the processed foods. Um, and we know that you can be unhealthy and overweight eating those products. And... Um, so, but uh, it, it's, it's a country that is ready for this, for a whole food plant-based revolution. And uh, I am teaming up with two doctors um, who speak Spanish and are whole food plant-based, and we will start doing programs in Spanish. So if any, if I want to say to the audience here, if you know anyone that uh, speaks Spanish and that needs this, no matter where they live, please, send them our way because we will be actually doing um, some free uh, content to get to help people and um, we have a website which is plantemus <laughs> now i'm going to think of plant the planters yeah don't get don't get it confused here's a fun question what do you consider to be a traditional diet in argentina oh a traditional diet is it's a meat it's um just remember that this was or maybe is now uh, one of the top, but it, I think it was like the number one or two producer of, of beef. And so uh, people cannot think of a meal without uh, meat. And so steak and what is, for, some, for someone who is a carnivore coming to Argentina is heaven because you can order all of the expensive cuts and everything and it's, it's nothing compared to what's in the U.S. But yeah, it's meat, unfortunately. Um, Argentina has a strong, strong um, influence of Europe. This is where a lot, about millions of people from Italy and Germany and Spain uh, and France, they, 
immigrated to in, in the early 1900s. So pizza, pasta, and meat, <laughs> it's traditional with a lot of vegetables because they cook and eat a lot of vegetables and salads. But I'm afraid that it's uh, the balance is now more off with all of the, the standard American diet options that are available. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, not funny. I mean, I just don't understand why people think it's not a meal if it doesn't have meat. I don't either. I have, I seldom go out, but you know, sometimes for social reasons and meetings that I have, I go out for a restaurant and I have to tell every time no cheese and no meat because even if I order a salad and it doesn't say that it has cheese in the menu, it'll come with, they put cheese, maybe more than meat. Cheese is an everything. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. The, uh, last night I went out. I had a really good salad, and I took my own ranch dressing because otherwise it's oil and vinegar, or just you know uh, vinegar or lemon juice, and to me that's boring. So I took my own dressing. So you make your own ranch? I do. I do. I um I have a favorite one, but it does have cashews, and um and so I don't I don't use it all the time because of the caloric content. I've never been the kind of person, even when I wasn't plant based. Uh, um, I used to see people that would bathe their salads and dressings, and I never liked that. So I, I always put little. So I, I use it sparingly, but I I use that, and if not, I just use any of your salad dressings that you have in the book that I feature in the online book club. Um, and so, yeah, I, I have no trouble. With that. I just started using a ranch dressing the first of the year that does have a little fat from the yogurt. And I the, saw, the I saw it. And I'm, I worry about it because it's so delicious. And it's so funny because like when I get, you know, because I haven't eaten fat for 10 years and just that little bit of tahini, like when it's on the spoon, it just doesn't, like you got to really scrub it off. It's so, it's like that. Like now I remember what it was like using fat. Using fat, using oil. I don't, I don't, um, it's, it's annoying because it's like it never gets off. Never gets off. I know. It's so, um, got a nice comment for you from Oki Gal. Please let Gustavo know that he has been a great inspiration to me with my plant exclusive lifestyle. His dedication and doing all the Dr. McDougall webinars were invaluable. Thank you. That's a very nice comment. Thank you. If you like Gustavo, then buy the bundle from him today. And Susanna oh, says, oh, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say that in the bundle, I, I was honored to have something there in, by me and it's uh, it's the pianist and the chef and um, during when the pandemic started uh, and we were all locked up here I guess everywhere in the world uh, I thought I was going to go crazy and so I thought of what can I do with the two things I love most which is playing the piano making music and cooking and so I decided to start a show that is called the pianist and the chef where I am um, show you how to make some really good recipes that are recipes that are come from my mother and my grandmother, but I transformed them and some that I made up myself. And then at the end of the show, I play the piano for you. So, and I have contributed two episodes of those two to the bundle. So thank oh, you for that sounds me. That sounds wonderful. Susanna wants to know, what does a typical day of eating look like for Gustavo? Typical day is, um, I I like to eat when I'm hungry, which is something that I had to like relearn because like a lot of people we're, um, you know, we were told, I guess, or programmed to eat breakfast at eight or seven and lunch. And so now I eat whenever I want. Today, I even, I don't know if this is good or not. I, I don't think it's bad, but today I totally skipped the breakfast. I did a mini fast. But usually breakfast is when I'm hungry, which sometimes is even close to 10. And, um, and I don't like sweet anymore like I used to. So the oatmeal with fruit, I eat it, but every now and then. 
So I, I like to make an oatmeal that is savory with um, some uh, with mushrooms mostly and um, and some nutritional yeast and other spices and um, or uh, the veggies for for breakfast like that mixture that I used to put inside the roll. I like to eat that for for breakfast with with rice or with some grain. And then for lunch, um, oh, well, mashed potatoes with corn or mashed potatoes with this, uh, it's just starch and it's, it's become very simple. A salad, um, I, what else? A, a rice that I cook with, with a variety of veggies in it and different spices, it's, it's that. And then the dinner is usually the leftover because I always make more than I need to, um, yeah, or a baked potato or a baked sweet potato with beans. Um, yesterday I made black bean chili. And um, so that's, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> it sounds delicious to me. Uh, here's an interesting comment from Vegan Minded Apparel. By the way, do you have a clothing store? I'd love to know more about your business. Oh. And they said, an appraiser came to inspect my house and he asked me with a confused look, don't you cook with oil? He had never seen a kitchen with no oil residue around the stove or on the wall behind it. That's why people like with raw food restaurants, it's so easy for them often to get certified because it's like, it's so gross oil. I don't, it is gross. Listen, I understand why people love cheese, even though I think it's disgusting. It, I can kind of get it, but like oil, it doesn't have a taste. It's just, it's gross. It's gross. Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, um, you, here's a question from Monica. Do you still refer to yourself as the plant powered pianist? <laughs> the P at the third power, PPP, plant powered pianist. Yes, I do. And because um, I came up with that name when when Lily Deal, Doctor um, Doctor Deal's wife, and I started a piano duo, and uh, so I said, "Why don't we call ourselves the Plant Powered Pianists?" And she liked it, and I liked it. So um, yeah, I do. I want I, not, not to I, be confused by the book by Bruce Milray, who's also in the bundle, the Plant Powered Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, now that's a real book because he had prostate cancer. Do you have time to exercise in your busy day? I I love. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful areas in the whole Argentina. I'm so lucky to live here. We have we have a tourist all the time, and I have an Airbnb that is um, that I when I get someone vegan, I prepare them the vegan uh, breakfast. So um, I do find time. I, in the morning, I go out for a walk in the fresh air with sun, and I get to look at the mountains and the streams and the rivers. And so I do that. And then the day starts and it gets crazy. And uh, I try to fit in another walk in the afternoon or evening in the summer. And sometimes I succeed and sometimes I don't. But I like walking. I walk fast, very fast. I have long legs. And so I have a good workout. And there are hills here. So I go up and down. And, but I don't like running. And I don't really like much of any other exercise. <laughs> That's but, I'm, but I'm willing. I'm going to look at some of these uh, offerings that, is, that are in the bundle. And I'm going to see if I find, like, I'm, I like to start yoga, for example. Oh, there's a yoga video in it from um, Alina Jones, who's Dr. Clapper's wife. And there's a bunch of fitness stuff. Actually, I think I have some fitness people on. I hope I sure do this week because uh, we haven't talked about that as much. Uh, Susanna wants yeah. to know, do you have a book or are you planning to write one? You have a great story. Actually, uh, I, don't, I don't mean to sound, uh, you know, to what do you call it? blow my own horn but I, I i do have i uh, i do have an interesting story and of where i came from and how i got to the u.s and my transformation uh, as a person as a professional um, and in in this area of health in my health so i would like to write one 
and um, and it is something that it's in the works, I can say, but it's not any time. It may take another two years or so. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you. I, I have FOMO. I think I'll be buying the bundle. Of course you will, Susanna. This is really going to be spectacular. The biggest decision isn't whether to buy the bundle, but who to buy it from when all the 90 contributors are people we all know and love. So if you love Gustavo, just buy it now. You won't regret it. I promise you. What you no. will regret when midnight comes on March 2nd and you realize you didn't buy it, you would not believe this is my ninth bundle. How many people literally like will say, please. And it's like, nope. It, once it's nope. gone, it's gone. And it never comes back in this form. I mean, I'm not saying that individual things won't be available, but it sure won't be like this because we want people to have new stuff every time or at least new to this bundle. So yes, you will love the bundle. And thank you for being a contributor. I can't wait to watch your offering. And that that thing you made today, what the, the possibilities are endless. They are. So I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. <laughs> it's good. And I bet you I bet you it would freeze really well. Like you could make them for parties in advance. I bet you they would. I think I think so. Yeah, this one was in the refrigerator since yesterday, and it's uh, nice and firm. And uh, I think it would freeze as well. So I look forward to hearing if other someone else uh, does something differently. And you know, I'm thinking, could you, if you wanted, you could make them individual, almost like as like like in circles. Like you know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, exactly. And then just give one. It'd be like beautiful on a plate with maybe a little like sauce drizzled over. Yeah, this yes. is fascinating. I got I got my my, my brain. You could do a whole book on this or a whole series for the next bundle. A whole series, yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Gustavo. No, thank you for having me. My pleasure. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back in one hour. My guest is Dr. Sunil Pai. He's also a bundle contributor with two offerings called Inflammation Nation. And by the link, I click the link below and then Gustavo will be very happy that you will have purchased the bundle. I will. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thanks, Gustavo. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.